today, Tony, as you said, is World Suicide Prevention Day. And today we are putting out all the shoes on the steps to commemorate those people who would have taken their lives to suicide. It's a beautiful ceremony we have. Amy Dyer and Green Hill Square, and they're going to perform some fabulous songs here for everybody to see. And this culminates in a weekend of events around So Sad, and So Sad are, as you know, here in Drada, and we are with Suicide Awareness, and we have an office open for anybody who wants to walk in and needs help. So, really, what we're doing around it is saying, you know, there is somewhere for people to go at any time, and people can come in and just have a chat with somebody and there's always a door open for everybody so today is really just about commemorating people who unfortunately took their lives and as you can see the crowds have gathered here and it's going to be a lovely service and we're just ready to get going now at the stage. Is there help out there for people? There, Tony there's lots of help out there I mean the hardest part for anybody probably is to walk in the door and once they walk in that door we will say to them you're safe, we have you now. And that's really a worry off their shoulders. And the service is free. Gone, and those are here in pain. And we also, there's a stigma that is being reduced every day. And just, if we can get that stigma gone, that would be a marvelous achievement. And the third aim is that to, to realize with ourselves and with everybody else that it's actually okay not to be okay. So just those are the three issues that we'd like to just promote every day, but particularly today. And I'd like to introduce you to Father Barry from St. Peter's Parish. And Father Barry will continue this commemoration. Thank you. Friends, we gather here on the steps of St. Peter's in West Street. We gather in front of all these shoes, the great symbol, the great symbol of, of the togetherness that we feel the last of it. These shoes will symbolize something very different for each one of us. We also have our flags. We have the flags representing the World Suicide Awareness and Prevention Day. The flags show two hands embracing and loving. And we stand here in solidarity, offering ourselves to those in need, to those who are struggling, those who are suffering today. Today doesn't just stop here, today continues. Today reminds us that 365 days of the year, we must be aware, we must be alert, we must be conscious of our needs, of others' needs, and of the importance to speak, to speak to someone like the candle of hope, to light the candle to remember those who are gone, to light the candle to remind us it's okay not to be okay. But if you loved me, why'd you leave me? Take my body, take my body.
Down from all around, I get that all day long. It's something that's inside me. It's a trait that I can't change. And just because I'm who I am, the others find me strange. I get this hate thrown at me for a reason you won't believe. I'm unaccepted, I've been rejected from who I am, and I won't accept it. I just wish that they could understand. on the loss, we emphasize on the people that have left, and we, we emphasize they're never forgotten, hence the candle. And the people that are still here with this pain. Uh, but our three aims really are, it's, it's awareness, and it's, we, we need to get rid of the stigma around mental illness. 
We, and, and, and if I could ask you also to bear in mind that we also need to emphasize that it's okay not to be okay. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to move with something which is if I count to three, and after three, if we all could say it's okay not to be okay. So if I just go one, two, three. It's okay not to be okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.